Okay, we're going to go ahead and continue with the WORKS model. WORKS stands for, it's a brain hack that stands for wisdom, operations, let's see if I can remember it, <laughs> WORKS, rest, knowledge, and skills. So let's start with wisdom. Wisdom is the ability to uh, practically apply knowledge, right? And I was thinking about the fact that there is no shortage of information. You can literally learn anything that you you want to online. And now you add AI to the equation, artificial intelligence, and it can teach you how to code. Like literally, it can teach you anything. So having information, knowing information, knowing what to do even. You can go online, you can do a YouTube uh, video to learn how to do pretty much anything. And if the one video doesn't help you, you can look at three or four or five more and piece together information about how to get it done. I am the queen of being like super resourceful. People that know how to get things done, they know how to make it happen. They know how to get the information that they need. But just because you can get the information does not mean that you need you understand fully how to apply that to your particular situation. Wisdom requires a, a, a whole nother part of your being. Wisdom is it comes from having failed a lot, having done a lot. And knowing how to get information, get the answers that you need. But also, wisdom is when you know how to ask the right questions. Because sometimes we are going off on tangents, but because we've asked the wrong question, we're just trying, we're focused on getting things done. I know I've done it. I've been focused on getting things done, making it happen, checking it off my list. And while I am in that, that headspace, I will just go off into a direction and not necessarily question. I have not. I'm, I'm, I pray that I have gained some wisdom from all this gray hair. Right? So I pray now that I have gained some wisdom and I'm learning how to make better decisions, how to take the information that's available to me and all of the other you know, mitigating factors, looking at everything and being able to make a sound decision. And what I find is when you are operating, when you are working on your vision, when you are trying to bring something to pass that has deep, intense meaning to you, that you care a lot about, and that is deeply personal, that requires you to develop, you to become, it, when, that it requires you to change, that it requires you to look at look at your own shadows and determine where you are missing the mark, like when though when you got all of that going on, it is hard to use wisdom. It's hard to make good decisions because it's too deep and too personal and it's just going to be too emotional. And what we do is we emotionally soothe ourselves doing activities and gathering information and learning and knowing without necessarily gaining wisdom. I want you to sit with that for a second. Wisdom, and um, I mean, that's really what I have to say today is that I just kind of want to stop you in the tracks a little bit and get you to think about whether what you are doing is actually whether you are operating out of wisdom, whether you are able to discern what information is truly relevant to what it is you're trying to accomplish. If we are looking at other people and judging our vision by what we see them doing, how they are approaching it, if, if we do it entirely based on that, then we're going to be like it's likely that we'll be led down a path that does not close the wisdom gap for us and the wisdom gap 
is the difference between where you are right now and where you want to be. So notice I didn't say knowledge gap. It is a wisdom gap. How am I strategically going to get from point A to point B where I want to go? And and it may not even be point A to point B. It could be point A, B, C, D, X, Y, J, right? Like it could be um, a, a, a path that is winding and but it's still ultimately the goal is to close the gap so that you can get where it is that you want to get to and that you can bring to pass the vision that you see in front of you. And that is going to require wisdom. So the works model again, wisdom, operations, rest, knowledge, and skills. We're starting with wisdom. And the basic concept that I need you to understand is gathering information and even being able to make decisions quickly is not necessarily wisdom. Wisdom often will require other people's input as well, right? To help you discover. I love the coaching training that I received back in 2010 from Dr. Joseph Umidi's transformation. I want to say it's transformational life something. (laughs) Forgive me. But his life coaching um, organization really helped me a lot because they taught me about just really about coaching in general, and that coaching really is not telling people what they should do. Coaching is helping them discover what's really on the inside of them. And we have been graced with gifts and talents and abilities, but those are for other people. The very thing that we dish out to others that blesses their lives, that makes a change for them, that gives them, causes transformation for them, That's the very thing that we need. We can't do it for ourselves. Now, of course, if I have an understanding of how to do something, I have experience, I can navigate that probably a little quicker than somebody else could. But at the same time, I I still have blind spots up because it's for me. And that's not how we were built and not how God intended us to engage with each other. So... We need coaches to help us. I I like to say every top performer needs a coach, actually needs a team of coaches. The higher you go, the the more people that you impact, the more significant the work that you're doing, the more coaches you need. You could because you need help in every area of life. So I always talk about getting a vision in every area, your inside, your outside and your surroundings. But that vision also was going to require coaches for your inside, your outside, and your surroundings. And just like we have every kind of physician, you don't just have one doctor. You have a primary care physician that helps guide what is going on with your overall health. But then they re- they will refer you to other specialists who can deal with the specific thing that you need. And that's how we need to look at coaching. We need to identify coaches at different stages of our lives, different issues that we're facing, whether it's business, whether it's personal, ministry, it doesn't matter. We all need coaches and they help us. The multitude of counsels, the scripture says in the multitude of counsel, there is safety. And it doesn't mean that you have to do everything that everybody says. I think you can have definitely too many voices, but wisdom, the the right coaches are going to help you tap into your own source of wisdom, your that in, what's going on inside of you, the the spirit of God speaking on the inside of you so that you can have confidence in making those decisions. So, um yeah, so that's it. It's really just Wisdom as a concept I wanted to talk about tonight and help you understand that wisdom, wisdom is the principal thing. The scripture says also wisdom is the principal thing, but we, and we get wisdom by actually, by experience, we have to know, we have to have information that we can use to base our decisions on 
so that we can apply the information. But I want to make the point tonight that having the information by itself does not necessarily equate to wisdom. And I want you to know the difference. And that's how you'll be able to close the wisdom gap from where you are right now to where you want to be.